stay like she asleep. Uh, so she tried to stay the whole week. I'm like, oh nah, she got Hey guys. Don't mind me. Um my skin probably looks super oily right now. Um it's been a long ass day. Long day. Woke up, was working since 7:30 and had to head straight to my pre-op appointment right after that now i'm um so now i just left um i just left the, the surgery center and i'm on my way to go get something to eat i'm gonna get chick-fil-a i'm not even done with my pre-op yet um the lady who i'm waiting to speak to whatever she went on lunch so they just had me fill out like my applications and stuff and told me to come back for when she gets off of lunch. So I'm gonna go get something to eat because I haven't ate nothing all morning and yeah, hold on, let me figure out where the hell I'm going. Hold on. Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> Guys, I forgot my phone was dying. My phone literally died on me and they had directions. To where I'm going, and now I don't know where the hell the Chipotle, not Chipotle, the Chick Fil A. I don't know where it's at. Um, let me see. Yeah, so far, all I've done is I did the blood work, not blood work. I did my blood test for COVID. My that was my COVID test. They did like a finger prick. I forgot I even had my camera, so that's why I didn't like take my camera with me to record this. I forgot I had my camera with me. I just got my camera. I just realized that it was in a car. So yeah, they did like a finger prick to get blood for your COVID test. And they did a urine test as well. And they did, what else they did? They did that, then they did some paperwork. Then they took me to the other, they told me to go to the other room to speak to the coordinator for my surgeon. That's when they told me she wasn't there, but now the girl got me the um, paperwork to fill out. So I filled out the paperwork, which took like 20 minutes or so. You just really have to sign your name, just a few areas you have to really fill out. But other than that, you just have to sign your name. And yeah, I did the paperwork. And then now I'm getting something to eat and I'm gonna have to go back. And it's crazy because right when I was leaving, I read into um I saw a female. I actually saw her before when I came in, but I ran into her again when I was coming out. And then we just randomly started talking because she asked me what am I getting done. And then I was telling her and then I read then we I found out that she actually just got surgery with my surgeon that I'm going to. I was so excited because I hadn't really seen people with his results. Like of his work so it was cool to see her and she lifted up her dress for me to show me her um body and she looked great and then she was even telling me i was asking her about her faha when she got her faha and she was even telling me like don't buy the faha there because it's like mad expensive so she told me where to go get the faha so yeah i got my i'm getting my surgery done at new life plastic surgery and um my surgeon is dr jc alvarez i believe he is i believe he came from another facility because he wasn't there he just got there like a few months ago because i booked him literally i think the same month that he had got to new life yeah he can't I, th I think he came from another facility i just don't know what facility because i saw somebody comment that um they followed him from the last facility that he was at but i don't know which one it was but yeah that's why dr jc alvarez um i was a little bit skeptical at first about his work like the work that made me book it looked great but it looked great but then i was like mm, i haven't seen a lot of dolls with his work so i wanted to like really see a lot of people like i booked put down my deposit but i was still a little bit iffy about it i was waiting to see more people that got surgery by him and more girls started to get their work done by him and it was consistent like his work looks good and from the doll that i just seen she looks amazing as well so i'm excited now i'm not even nervous at least i don't think i'm nervous i don't feel like i'm nervous but my blood pressure was a little bit high <laughs> when um she took my blood pressure <laughs> she had to take it twice because i think if your blood pressure is high they can't clear you for surgery something like that 
so she had to take my blood pressure again and she's just like just relax relax <laughs> so she took it again and it was a little better i tried to like really relax and it was like a little better i'm trying to find my bliss text y'all but yeah so um yeah that's about it i have to go almost everything i need is being delivered i ordered a lot of things on amazon I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna create an Amazon list so you guys can have like the direct link to everything that I got on Amazon. I got majority of the things I need right on Amazon, even my BBL pillow, right on Amazon. The only things I haven't got yet is my Faha and I have to go grocery shopping. And it's crazy because I am doing this surgery at a time when I'm moving. Like I just got a new apartment. I'm actually, I actually have to go pick up the keys right after this. I have to go pay the lease and pick up the keys. So I'm moving in this weekend. Today's Friday. My surgery is Monday. So I have to pretty much try to settle in over the weekend so that by Monday, I'm just I'm just focused on having my bed set up. Like I just really want to have my bed set up so that I'll be able to have somewhere to lay down. And then as I start to feel better, do little things. But um yeah, so I'm in the process of moving all while about to have surgery so it's a lot going on right now um but yeah i'm excited i don't feel nervous but obviously i am since my blood pressure was high but yeah i don't feel i don't feel as nervous as i thought i would be like i thought i'd be like shaking in my boots right now like looking at everything I'm, i don't know i feel like i've done a lot of research so i'm just not as nervous as i should be but I'm excited. I'm more so excited. Like I can't wait to get it done. I really wanted to get it done now because I'm gonna I want my body to be in a state where I'm able to be out my faha for a bit once my birthday comes. My birthday's in October, so yeah, we'll see. But guys, my surgery is Monday. Today is Friday. Ooh, I can't wait. That lady should be back from her lunch by now, so I'm gonna eat. Probably stop by the five place and see how it is. But these people are just a mess. Like, yes. now leaving pre-op i'm gonna show you guys the this is like the little garage area for new life so yeah i'm just leaving pre-op let me try to pull out this space yo my pre-op was dumb long and i don't believe everybody's appointment is that long but well, mine's is dumb long it was mad long like you can see the new life sign there. Yes, as I was saying, my pre-op is mad long. Um, this is actually the Faha place right here. It's Faha's Colombian, if you guys can see that. That's the place the lady was telling me about. I'm gonna come there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna come there tomorrow because I don't have the time to go here right now. don't have the time to go there right now because i have to go get to my apartment to get the keys so that's what i'm about to do but that pre-op appointment was mad long i was there since like 12 something and it is now 350 but i don't think everybody's is that long it was just because um after i had got my I gave her my labs. I didn't have my EKG done. I knew I needed to get that one done here. But um, when she looked over my labs, there was a few things missing. There was a few things missing with the labs. So I had to get them done there. So I ended up having to do a do blood work and my EKG. But luckily they didn't charge me for the blood work because it was only like three things that I needed that wasn't on my original blood work results. 
so I just had to pay the 100 for the EKG but they didn't because I already knew before beforehand that the EKG was a hundred but they didn't charge me for the blood work which was great so I did blood work did EKG that weight was long that was like the only thing that it was like two things that made my experience long was waiting to get that EKG and those and that blood work done and the fact that my coordinator had went on lunch when I got there but yeah mad long but I'm trying my best y'all to blog this entire experience I told my friends I told my family I was gonna vlog this whole thing so I'm trying my best okay I want to get every little bit of it for you guys so I'm gonna be having my family or him well, it's like my cousin and my mom so my cousin's supposed to pick me up my mom is supposed to be flying in I actually have to book her ticket today so she could be here possibly tomorrow or Sunday but yeah my mom's flying in I just really wanted my mom here because you know she works at a hospital or whatever so she's very well aware of a lot of things to look out for as far as my blood pressure and all of this so I feel like it would be great to have her there it's like kind of like having a nurse so she's gonna be flying in okay guys so sorry for the background noise but my laundry is going right now i'm washing a whole bunch of stuff and my mom is like organizing but i just want to show you guys some things that i got for surgery first thing first is this robe i wanted to get a thick robe but it was just i was doing a whole lot of running around trying to get a robe last minute and couldn't find anything so I found this at, um, it was like a, it wasn't a discount store, but it was like one of these stores in Miami that sell like a lot of outfits, cute little outfits. They had like a lingerie section that had robes and I ended up getting this robe. It's kind of on the thick side. It's not as thin as the other robe that I have, but yeah, it's, it's all right. It's doable and it's kind of long. It's past my knees. So I felt like this would be good i know it's gonna get stained hopefully not too bad hopefully i can get the stains out and i get to keep it afterwards but this should be good this is what i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow for the day of surgery and this is the other robe that i got i like this one and i really don't want to get this one dirty that's why i didn't want to wear this for tomorrow so i'm probably wear this for um post-op and probably the days afterwards i want to wear this one it's shorter and it's thinner than the other one much thinner than the other one but i like this one really nice and then i also got i also got this from the same place that i got that i'm gonna try to find the name of it and i'm gonna put it in the description box of where i got these robes these are the two things that i got from there and i also got these tank tops from there and the tank tops were only two dollars yeah they were two dollars right yeah the tank tops were 2.99 and i got four of them a gray a black a greenish color and a, another black one to wear underneath the faja and the ab boards and stuff so i'm gonna list the place that i got these tank tops and the robes for you guys and i also got this kind of like nightgown kind of thing because i might end up wearing this to post op too i don't know but i got this as well um, this I got from, I believe it was Marshalls, and I also got these dresses, um, I cannot remember where I got these dresses from, I think these were from Marshalls as well, yeah, I do think I got these from Marshalls as well, yeah, I might wear this to post up, I don't know what I'm wearing to post up, but if not, this is just something I'm going to be wearing sometime in the week, it's a long maxi dress, it's kind of like, curved at around the end and split on the side a little bit and it has pockets which is really nice and I also got this plain black dress to wear as well it kind of scrunches up here on the sides but yeah just a simple dress to put on whenever but um I didn't get too many dresses because I also have a lot of like long dresses myself that I can put on so I don't think I'm gonna need too many of that I just wanted comfortable things that I can just throw on until I really figure out if I like have a different sizing in clothes or something. So that's about that. Um, 
Next, I'm gonna show you guys my supplies. This is literally all my supplies right now. Um, let's go through them really quickly. In this box right here, I have the knee pads that I ordered. I ordered these knee pads from Amazon. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep them. I might send them back. That's why I have them in the box. Might send them back, I'm not too sure. I saw a few girls say that they're really helpful as far as like sitting down and on your knees and like eating and stuff like that. So I'll see if I like them or not. So as you guys can see, I have peroxide back here. This is what my mom will be using to wash my faha. Um, as well as detergent, but she has to wash the blood out and the fluids out with that. And I have the Hyboclin right here, which I'm about to use to take a shower. I also got the Arnica pills. Why is it not focused? Okay, I got the Arnica pills. I do have the gel as well. Um, I just don't know where it's at. So I might just, my mom might pick up another one tomorrow because I do have the gel, but I don't know where it's at. So my mom might pick one up. Um, inside here, I'm gonna open it and show you guys, which I'm also about to do this now, which this is for, hold on guys, I'm trying to open it. So inside here is a bunch of, I wanted to focus. Okay guys, I had to take them out so you guys could kind of see them a little better, but these are retainer barbells that I got because I do have nipple piercings and I'm gonna have to take it out. And I didn't wanna like take it out for a really long time and have it close up, so I ordered these on Amazon. I don't, I don't think they were expensive. I think it was like $6 for these and it comes with so many. <laughs> I'm not even gonna need all of these. So I'm also about to do this as well before I go to bed. I got masking tape just because this was the only tape that I saw that I felt like maybe it could stick on my skin better. Yeah, it was the other than that, it just had like the Christmas scotch tape, and I was like, Yeah, it's not gonna stick. So I just got this. I felt like it probably will stick better on my skin. I'm gonna use that to stick the pads because I do have um maxi pads under here. Yeah, I have maxi pads to put over my incisions to soak up any fluid and blood. And I also got feminine wipes just because you know you might not want to take a shower the first few days or whatever and still like you just need this <laughs> please I have the dial soap one of them is out because I started using it since yesterday so yeah I have a dial soap that I'm gonna be taking a shower with probably for the, until I finish all of these so that's probably like a few months <laughs> yeah and I got the Tylenol PM, which I'll be taking at night. Hopefully it helps me to sleep because I feel like I'm gonna have issues sleeping because I already have issues sleeping right now. So hopefully this helps. If not, I'm gonna have to get something else with melatonin or something. And I have the regular Tylenol Extra Strength. And I also got Ricola cough drops because I saw a lot of dolls saying that you need this for your throat. I might actually take this out and leave this for my mom to bring. I do. I did get the urinal from Amazon as well. It does come with a little baggie inside. Over here, I have my um. This is just a blood pressure monitor and it also has some like thermometer strips in here. My mom brought this for me. My mom had it, so she brought it with her when she, yeah, it has thermometer strips in here and it has the blood pressure machine in here as well. And up here I have some training pads these are like the pee pads for the dogs I bought a whole pack of this I think it has like 50 in this one yeah I think it's 50 I got this on Amazon and my mom did bring some as well she brought me these that she had at home and she also brought me these which is the big chucks for the um, bed and this is a tablecloth as well a plastic tablecloth that I might use to like cover the bed or cover the car 
not too sure this is my bbo pillow that i got off of amazon i might be getting another one i don't know but so far this seems pretty comfortable so i don't know i might keep this one and just use that this is my what is this my this is my backboard yeah my backboard let me open it okay so this is the backboard that will be going on my back and this is my ab board i don't want to take it out but it looks exactly like how it looks right there <laughs> It is for my abs, and I also have my lipo foam. And as I showed you before, the maxi pads, I just got some cheap ones that I saw that was thick. And I have my compression socks just because I don't want to have to wear that ugly um, tan colored compression socks. I, I want black everything. Like my faja will be black as well because I don't want to see the blood. So I got some black compression socks. I might take these with me, but or I might put them on once I get out because I don't know if they'll let me put these on ahead of time. Like when they bring me out, I don't know. And other than that, um, I believe that's about it for right now. They get straws as well. And let me show you guys the fridge. I did stock up on salmon because they say salmon is really good to eat to feed the fat and a few other things I got that's like low in sodium and low in sugar and down here I have a bunch of pineapple juice and water I stocked up on that to make sure that I am hydrated the entire time pack of unsalted crackers the Tylenol pineapple juice water and straw and two cough drops